internet guest visitor today, and I want to start out by saying he's smart. Uh, he is uh, extremely engaged as a teacher, as a uh, researcher, and uh, he is also very uh, on much on top of what is happening in industry and abroad. Uh, Dr. Wei Sun is professor, and I'm proud of that, and you know what I'm thinking about. Uh, it's been a journey, hasn't it? Uh, uh, and I'm glad I was there with you for it. Uh, he is a professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering and Mechanics at Drexel University. Wei is from Anhui province in China, and he smiles because we have been in Anhui province together, and I have visited as a guest of his college president, his campus, and uh, therefore uh, know what his perspective is as a Chinese American who has strong connections, continues to have strong connections to China and to that part of the world. Uh, let me say this about Wei Sun. Um, he's on the edge in every sense of the, wor of the word in his field. Uh, he is an achiever. Uh, he is a person who saw obstacles and just kept climbing and uh, earned uh, everything that he has achieved. He is also so dedicated to the students and uh, his, uh, his staff and his colleagues, and that's so important. So it is a, a pleasure to introduce to my class and my friends here uh, Professor Wei Sun, and he's going to talk about design and manufacturing in the information era. How's that, Wei? That's good. All right, it's all yours. Thank you. Is my voice good? I think your voice is good as long as you talk slowly, because okay. although I understand the Anhui accent, I'm not sure they do, okay? <laughs> okay. Again, thank you very much, Havo, uh, my good friend, and uh, I certainly uh, have so much memory with you, but today we do not uh, talk about friendship, we can talk about some other time. But today I would like to share with you and this three slide, and I put that into a title called and design manufacturer in information era. And can I have my slide opening? I, uh, the, we have the slide up that is the title okay. with your name now. Yeah, that's good. And basically, I would like to talk about a few points. One is uh, what is happening for design manufacturer. And second, how the technology happening, a group of promote and the design manufacture the technology evolution. Third, and I use the example uh, to show how the China change and as a result of the technology and also the change of the US and China in terms of those business. And in the last slide, then a few questions. I know I Bob Eaton uh, mentioned that we have an audience from a different background. Then I hope that through, through this few slides, and I can stimulate some discussion. And, and, and let's go for the first slide. Next, please. The first slide says Global Manufacturing, the China Challenge. Okay, then I can take the slide. And the next one, or this one? Yeah, this one, Global Manufacturing, the China Challenge. You know, actually, I want to hide in the China Challenge at this time. Just talk about the Global Manufacturing. 
And we need to know what is the manufacturer. So that I thought as a fourth paragraph. The manufacturer is a tender a raw material and a lab and produce the product. So that means you change the raw material into a product. And when the product it has a use value, people can buy. So you can sell your material or product in certain quantity and with certain quality then to generate good return. Okay. So then what we are doing in manufacturing now. And today I put the bottom line as a second paragraph and people are looking for at the best place, best resource and the best profit to make the best product. Okay. So that is what we call the global environment. Sometimes we call the global competition. So that means whoever manufacturer want to produce a better, cheap, and in a faster way, and in a win situation. That that's what we call the competitiveness. The next slide, please. All right, the slide is the evolution for new product development. Yes. Then, I want to use this slide to show some evolution of how we develop new product. Okay. If, I, if, if anyone of the audience here, if I ask you, have you even thought of how to develop something and maybe at the different thought things you have the ideas before, but regardless of what you want to develop, those are the three questions people will always ask. For example, can you make the product? Otherwise, you don't do that. Okay. After that, will it work? That we need to can give you the function of it. Third one is, is that the best? So I'd like to share with you to see how the technology advancement goes into all of those three questions. Okay, okay. wait. Now, yeah. I told you I may interrupt. 